This is the sheaf stitch. It is three parallel lines worked with a catch stitch. I was just playing here with varying the length of the stitch. So to make this stitch is pretty simple. We're going to make three parallel lines. just straight stitches and then we're going to come up under the middle stitch you can kind of move it out of your way slide it under one of the outside stitches then the other outside stitch then you can come back down in the center you're just pulling them up like this or you can wrap it around those three stitches more than once. Some books tell you to do that. I'm just going to show you that. Wrap it around, pull it up, and then we're going to go back down under the middle again. Like that. So you can play with how many wraps. You can play with where your catch stitch is. You could play with the length of your parallel lines and if you twist them around at all different angles then they make kind of an interesting filling stitch it won't be filled solid but it adds some texture so this time I'm gonna move my catch stitch up toward the top I'm coming out under the middle stitch under outside stitch under the other outside stitch and this time I'll just do one you can actually put more than one catch stitch on these if you want to so I could do another one down here coming up under the middle and I can wrap it around more than once if I want to So it's a pretty easy stitch and you can just play with it to get different looks and then knot it off on the back.